The tournament brings in a lot of people, not just fishermen. We have 53 teams in this year, I believe. So it brings in those two and three man teams, of course. They come in starting about Monday or Tuesday to pre-fish and get settled and ready for the tournament. So that brings a lot of business into town through lodging and our restaurant. Um, it also brings other people in as well. We try to provide entertainment um, to get people from the outlying areas to come in, to bring in families, to bring make events so that people want to come and, and make it a really important part of their summer plans to come to Akaska. Um, something else that the South Dakota Walleye Classic here locally does is uh, the week before the tournament, they sponsor a senior fishing day where they gather several local fishermen to take out senior citizens uh, fishing for free. They provide lunch for them at the end of the uh, end of the day. They provide the bait and get people who normally don't get to go out on the water much get a chance to go out fishing for the day. So um, we that was on July 11th. That's always a week before the Walleye Classic tournament. Coming in. <laughs> Mike's coming back here too. Mike's coming back. Located about seven miles from Swan Creek State Park, which is the river, Missouri River access point for fishermen. Um, there is a north and a south dock. So between Akaska and the Swan Creek access point um, is a stretch of road, of course. And this year they just redid that road, new blacktop. It's very nice, smooth. Anyone who's been on it before would agree that it's a much nicer, smoother ride now that they redid that blacktop on that road. So very easy to access the river from Akaska. So, so imp making the improvement on this small seven mile stretch of road was really important for Akaska because not only do we have people who have summer homes here and you know they have their, their permanent places or their summer homes, they're here all summer. We also have a lot of people who come from out of state for a week or two for fishing. And so we wanna make it accessible for everyone and we want everyone to realize how great it is out here. We want them to come back. So we want them to have a good experience when they're here and making that drive out, that seven mile stretch of drive with your boat and truck accessible and nice is going to make a big difference for people as well. Okay. So one of the lodges here in Akaska is Man's Land Lodges. We offer three separate lodging spaces. Um, our largest lodge right here behind me sleeps up, sleeps up to 20 people so we can accommodate large groups and small groups. We have two other lodges that also accommodate um, anywhere from 9 to 16 people so lots of space for different groups and activities. We've have, of course, we have sportsmen come out with their groups and spend time out here fishing and hunting. We also have families who come out here and have a family gathering in the summer. So a lot of different options for that kind of thing. We've had people who are temporary working, construction, that kind of thing, also use our lodging spaces. With our lodging, we, our two largest lodges offer a pull-through garage for your boat. Uh, we also have a private fish cleaning garage behind this lodge here, our main lodge, but whichever one you stay at, you have access to that private fish cleaning garage, which I think is an important perk here to not have to use the fish cleaning station at the, out at the state park. Um, our lodges are fully furnished, fully equipped with kitchens, uh, several bathrooms, lots of options for you for all your, all your needs. Midwest Gundog Kennels is your full-time Gundog training facility. For over 30 years, we've customized our training to fit each individual Gundog. We know it takes a well-trained Gundog to handle wild birds to make every hunting trip a dream trip. Let Midwest Gundog Kennels put excitement back into your hunt of a lifetime. Midwest Gundog Kennels, where experience equals excellence.
No matter the size, age, or activity level of your best friend, you want a dog food that's natural, feeds great, and is full of all the goodness you demand. That's what we pack into every bag of Country Vet Naturals. Country Vet Naturals are just what the name says, natural goodness in every bag. We also make grain-free cat and dog food and treats. Learn more and find a dealer at CountryVetNaturals.com. Country Vet Naturals, loved by pets, trusted by owners. Well, as you might be able to tell, I spend a lot of time behind a shotgun. Whether it's at the clay target fields, sporting clays fields, doing exhibitions, or bird hunting, I always trust my shooting skills to the Rio Elite. Not only for the lighter recoil, but as you can tell, the harder hitting, consistent patterns. These clay targets don't stand a chance when you shoot Rio Elite. Make your next day on the water even better with Airwave Pedestal, the only air suspension system that can be custom adjusted to the weight of the rider. No unreliable springs, no oil-filled shocks to leak. Our patented design utilizes a two-stage suspension system to smooth out the roughest ride, a limiting travel to an industry-leading two inches. This boating season, enjoy your time on the water to the fullest. Find out how at airwavepedestal.com. This is the Akaska Tavern and Bait Shop under new ownership as of March 1st. Have a brand new menu starting in May and we have done kind of a facelift to the inside as well to make it a little more welcoming. Uh, we offer some of the best burgers and steaks in the area. We have a wide selection of beer as well. Our sea store offers fuel, bait, tackle, and all your marine needs. We really are your one-stop place here in Akaska for anything you need, whether it's dining or getting on the river to fish. Our bait shop is really full service. We offer leeches, night crawlers, minnows. We have tackle provided by Bauer's Tackle Service right here in Akaska. Frank Bauer, many people uh, know him, he's well known. He creates and makes the tackle and we sell it here in our bait shop. We also have uh, boat batteries, life jackets, fire extinguishers, anything you'll need to, to get your boat out on the water as well. Um, fuel, our sea store is a uh, pop beer, candy, snacks, anything you might need here uh, to make your trip to make your trip great, to make your fishing trip successful. Dennis Foster here, Focus Outdoors Television. We're in Akaska, South Dakota on the northern reaches of Lake Oahe. We're here for the South Dakota Walleye Classic Tournament. It is a qualifier for the northern Lake Oahe Walleye Series and there's a lot of history in this area. I know a little bit of it but I don't know enough. We've got a couple of the founding fathers, so to speak, of the area and I'd just like to share where this all started from the reservoir filling you know to the changes that have happened to the little bitty town of Akaska to where we're at now you know you got your beautiful community hall here you guys have done a lot to improve the area. Well I first started fishing Lake Hawaii back in 1962 when the northern population exploded in the reservoir here. We'd catch northerns all day and then if we were lucky we'd catch a few walleyes during the nighttime period. And uh, basically I fished uh, in the Whitlock area for about four or five years and then as the walleye fishing got really good, I found out about the Morrow River and I started coming out to the Morrow River and camping back in the Beaver Creek area. Okay. And uh, Frank Dushnow, I believe was his name, he let me cross his land to go down in there anytime I wanted to. And we'd fish back there, I think I fished back there for five or six years before I ever knew where the town of Acasca was. Right, you know, and you uh, just touched on something there, Jim. Hawaii's well known for its walleye population. It's one of the premier destinations in the country. It's overlooked a lot for pike, and you and I were talking earlier here just what you did on pike this spring. I mean, it's impressive. Yeah, I had a phenomenal year this spring. Uh, for the last five years, with our low smelt population, we've had real good pike fishing. And this year, I was lucky enough to spend about 25 days just shore fishing for northerns and I caught a couple of 40 inches but then I jumped up to 44 inches I caught about 12 I think it was 44 inches and plus a 46 incher and a 48 incher. You know and a 44 inch fish is a fish of a lifetime for most for folks. For most people it is. You know, you something we should it. allude to too is it doesn't take a bunch of fancy equipment you don't need to spend a bunch of money you don't need a fancy boat I mean literally we're doing it from shore. You know, right. We're tossing mm -hmm. smelt or herring out or what have you. Yeah. And it's fun. You bet, you bet. Um, another thing to talk about too is when you come out here, this is a huge reservoir and it can be intimidating. We do have guides out here. 
Shillings have been guiding the family shillings for how many well, years? Well, I started 42 years ago. Okay. And Chad was a baby. And been doing it a long time. I started up in Mobridge, worked my way down, and then 1997, uh, bought the motel here in Akaska. And we just got really busy, and then the boys come in, and both of us. Both of my boys, Chad and Jess, helped, and we kind of prey on the walleyes more than the northern. Mm -hmm. So we really run the lake pretty hard as much as we can to learn. And we've seen a lot of ups and downs, from high water years to driving through the trees mm -hmm. out here in 2004 or 8. What year was it? It would have had to been 4 or 5 because 2006 was a high water year again. I was just talking to a fellow inside. I said, you know, about every 10 years, uh, 86 was a high water year, 96 was a high water year. 2006 was a high water year when we flushed all the smell out of the system, and we're almost a high water year right now, but yeah, we're, we're two years behind on the two on the sixes. You're right, Jim. And I, what I haven't seen though, like we used to see over the years, over the last 10 years since we had the flood, I have not seen the river drop much. It seems like it just keeps sneaking up every uh -huh. year, and to me that's yeah. a little unusual. But I guess it's because of the amount of moisture we have and everything else. So. Oh, it's been really good, and the lake is really abundant. I mean, the lake right now is it's a great so shape. full of yeah. uh, uh, bait and They've smelt got food and shad, yeah. and we're seeing uh, freshwater shrimp. It's unbelievable. Clouds of them in the springs. So, yeah, the, the lake is awesome. You know, a point I'd like to make, too, and this goes back to the first time you come out, it probably would be wise to hire a guide because there's literally any technique you can think of that will work out here. I, from four foot to a hundred and four foot, you know. I, just, I think the key to us guides ain't so much that we're great guides. I think the key to us is we're out here every day, so we're we're, we're following the chain. Exactly. Where if you just come for a weekend, it, it could be tough for a few days. Yeah. Right. And and that's where if you really want to learn the lake and give yourself a little advantage if you're coming here, yeah, it's a good idea to hire a guide. Whether yep. it be me or anybody else. Yeah, the, the fish do have a migration pattern. Oh, they do. And those guys that fish a lot around the water a lot, we know where the movement is going That's right. and stay with them rather than stay a week behind them. Yeah, it's and, and since the high water has changed, we got a lot of flow. That's another thing I'm seeing. With. Yeah. A lot of current going through right mm -hmm. now. Hopefully Dakota Pheasant Guide offers the best wild pheasant hunts from the Glacial Lakes area of South Dakota west to the Missouri River. Packages available include everything from self-guided to fully guided hunts. Book your bird hunting adventure now. Fisherman, iTime Promotions is your ticket to an enjoyable and successful day on the water. Call Dennis Foster for your outdoor adventure of a lifetime. Dennis Foster here. I'd like to introduce you to the Drado Catch and Release Boat Latch System. It's back the trailer into the water, pop the cord, and away we go. Once our day in the water is done, we simply roll the boat up onto the bunks until it achieves contact with the bow eye. It clicks securely into place. Away we go. We are exclusive partners with B2Outdoors.com. That's where you're going to want to go and order your very own system. You can enter the promo code ITIMEPROMOTIONS and receive free shipping on your items. When it comes to dog food and treats, you want something natural. A dog food or special reward that feeds great, is made in the USA, and helps your best friend live a long and healthy life. That's what you get with Country Vet Naturals, natural goodness in every bag. And for those of you who want grain-free, we've got that too. Find a dealer and learn more about Country Vet Naturals dog food, cat food, and treats at CountryVetNaturals.com. Country Vet Naturals, loved by pets, trusted by owners.
two life jackets. Oh, there's one there. What do you got for team number? Four. Four. Okay. Team number four. Yeah. Okay. Okay, want to do something with the ribbons and so forth? This is our 10th year. 2008 we started. Yep. Vicki and I have been taking pictures and in the camera boat for all, for all 10 years. It's been fun. We like watching the guys go out and some of them have trouble, some of them don't. and It's just a good time. We've enjoyed it. And then we take the pictures and then we make our uh, yearly calendar. And they'll be on the website tonight. Yeah, these SDWalleyeClassic.com so go look at the pictures. Day of the uh, South Dakota Walleye Classic out of Akaska, South Dakota. I personally had a pretty darn good day yesterday. Had a 27 inch fish and some 18s. We're finding the bite much tougher. I don't know what the other guys are doing. We did have just the edge of a little front come through last night and it may have kind of goofed these fish up a little bit. But we're fishing for big fish. All we need is two good bites and we're there. So keep plugging away we've got four little guys to hopefully go with some uh, overs meaning our over 20 inch fish as part of the South Dakota slot limit here but we'll just literally keep cranking away so you can't get going okay all right we just hooked up again here maybe we got in the right spot we haven't had a whole lot of bite all day yesterday I literally never sat down the entire time I was free fishing we always had something on whether it was catfish or pike or not take anything for granted at this point <laughs> yeah you just stand down there you go stand down that's what I like 
Okay, looks like he's going to come right to the corner for you. Okay, lean out a little bit to your right, Henry. There you go, because it'll straighten. He's got more angle. You probably can't see the line. He's angling towards the back of the boat on you. There you go. Now he's straightening out. Well, he is staying down. That'll work. Do it. Yeah. It's a good thing you got a good man on the net. Woo! Boy, I seen he was just barely nipped. Yeah, we ain't got that darn crankbait in the net now. Well, we're getting bit, now we just need the right bite. Oh, and I'm gonna allude to something that some of the more savvy guys have figured out, but I still see a lot of guys don't, is when you're pulling crankbaits, particularly in the wind, is to use your electric bow mount to steer. And what that does, is you, you don't steer your car from the back. It's the same concept. So your bow isn't getting blown around and you're getting blown off course, especially on these sharper points. And then also with running this many lines, what happens is if you've got power on the front, I've also got my kicker going, it sticks that boat to the water so you're not getting that kind of a sliding action per se and your lines are all kind of going off at an angle and then it will tend to tangle. Something else I'm doing here is I'm going right up in the tip of these points and I'm crashing on them a little shallower than I want to be on purpose. Then I'm hitting the fast rabbit button on the uh, bow mount to blow up speed and with the lead corn snap weights are so speed dependent, what that does, it blows them up out of the way and quite often you'll get a hit on that uh, speed change and as they lift up. As you can see, I've got my eyes on my Ray Marine Electronics more than anything and uh, one of the benefits of having these large screens is I have the background map totally all by itself I don't have it in any windows I'm filling up a 12 inch screen so I can zoom in tightly right on top of these Navionics contours that we have here and stay where I want to be if not you know gosh you'd be drifting out 30 40 foot deeper than you want to be and you'd actually be out of the zone more than you were in the zone
diesel train rolls down the line As I'm headed for the land of corn and rye There is a place I'm always satisfied Full of remedies to ease my worried mind Like pulling cash